Water Signs, welcome to the November Crystal Healing uh, video for Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Uh, for those who are new, I used to actually do these in two-parters for the first six signs, Aries to Virgo, then Libra to uh, Pisces. But because of the issues I've been having with my throat chakra, my asthma, my allergies, I've been eating a lot of breaks in between, so I've been kind of chopping it up by elements, which I kind of like this system, so I might keep it. I might keep it like this. Um, but anyway, guys, I had to take yesterday off. <clears throat> I had to take yesterday off. Um, it really got the best of me. Like I did not have a voice. My throat was very, very tight. My throat's still very, still tight, but this is the best I felt in a couple days. So I'm, I'm back and I'm working and happy Halloween for those who are watching this the day that I post this. Um, but let's go ahead. Oh, that's right. I gotta always explain how this works for my newbies. So my newbies. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Uh, so the way this works is I pull Chris, I pull cards from the Crystal Wisdom Oracle Healing Deck. All the decks I use are below if you guys would like them for yourselves, okay? I do this to see what crystals are recommended for you for the upcoming month. And then I go ahead and I pull some tarot cards. Not too in-depth, just pretty basic to see why you need these crystals. <clears throat> Every time I pull crystals, no matter how many times I do this, I always read the descriptions of the crystals because we do get new people and also because this is very, very general, okay? Not all of this will resonate for all of you, okay? So no need to run out and buy crystals if you don't need the crystals, if this doesn't resonate for you. But that's why I read it so you can decide for yourself if you need these crystals, okay? It's up to you, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You know, Cappies, you're calling me. You're calling me. Not surprising. I resonate very well with the Capricorns. Um, so Capricorns, let's see what crystals you'll be needing for the month of November here, okay? I, Capricorns, if I'm being honest, I feel like you're going to need a lot. <laughs> I don't know if I feel that way. I feel like we're going to get multiple. I don't think it's just going to be one crystal. Um, who knows? I might have just jinxed myself, but I think you're going to need probably three to four. It's recommended three to four, but let's go ahead and see what's going on with you. I'm actually seeing citrine in my mind's eye. I don't think that I don't think that's gonna come out, but they're showing me that, which tells me that there's something about your creative center that needs rebalancing. Okay, that needs rebalancing, recalibrating. So pay attention to that, especially your sacral and your solar plexus. Pay attention to that. Ooh, this is a lot. I'm not taking them. I'm not taking them because we're just getting into it. But I'm gonna show them to you. Orlite, which is actually what I'm wearing right here. Ooh, garnet. Bumblebee Jasper and Purcelli Blue Stone. Yeah, a lot of you guys are going to be having some digestive issues or sacral kafumples. Kafumples. You'll know what that's about. Okay. All right, Capricorns. What crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of November? <clears throat> uh, Capricorns, I feel like you guys are having trouble finding your way. That's interesting. You guys are having trouble finding your way. You're finding your way to something. Staying, fo staying focused on your true path. Staying focused on your true path. What crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of November? What crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of November? What crystals do my Capricorns... Okay. <laughs> Three just wanted to come out. Okay, Capricorns. You know, what, what's with you and all these like crystals that want to come out for you guys? Okay, so we have Shiva Lingam. Shiva Lingam came out here. Very earthy stones you guys have. Aquamarine and graphic smoky quartz here, okay? I want to see what other crystals want to come out. I do feel like we're going to get more for you guys. If we get any repeats, um, I'll make sure to mention it. I don't like to repeat descriptions, but if we do get any repeats, I'll let you know which sign to watch, okay? <clears throat> what other crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of November? What other crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of November? I'm just getting a lot of lower chakras for you. A lot of lower chakras and a lot of throat chakra. Yep, there's one more. Ha! <laughs> Rainbow Maniac. It looks a lot like Citrine, actually, which is like, that's why I laughed when I first saw it. Rainbow, Rainbow Maniac. Mayanite. Mayanite. That's the best way I say that. Mayanite. <clears throat> I know, guys. It's going to be a little rough. Just bear with me. Okay. Shiva Lingam, alchemical union. A Shiva Lingam embodies the wisdom of the deities brought to earth. It symbolizes uniting dual dualities and manifesting the creative force. Be compassionate to heal your to to blah, blah, blah. be compassionate with yourself to heal. You have masculine and feminine and other dualities within your being. Integrate these to release your creative power. A Shiva Lingam is produced from the tumbling waters. Life shapes you in the same way, so go with the flow. Soul scoring reveals your divine core. <clears throat> 
If you were hurt or abused, be compassionate with yourself to create healing on all levels. Get back to basics and put passion back into your life. Honor your libido and create a fire. <laughs> what did I say about sacral? Sacral and creative energy. Uh, create balance. Expect a new relationship or revitalize an old one. Practice sexual magic. Cut ties where appropriate. Remember, you create through the power of thought. Everything passes. In a tur turbulent time, unexpected benefits emerge. True relationship transcends at earthly experience. It is rooted in soul unification and unconditional love. The frequency of the stone is earthy and high. It's great for the root, the sacral, and the crown. <clears throat> It's also great for activating kundalini energy. It's great for Scorpios and for tantric union of opposites. Oh, my Capricorns. <laughs> Are you guys going to be really horny during November? What's going on? <laughs> some, honestly, some of you guys might. Some of you guys might be really horny during the month of November. Anyway, come back, come back, come back. There we go. Aquamarine. Aquamarine has long been a healing gem associated with the sea and also with stimulating psychic abilities. It was believed to protect against seduction. <laughs> Uh oh, you're you guys are gonna be like dealing with someone very sexy or someone who just turns it on for you guys. Wow, you are deeply intuitive, but you need to assess this realistically. Do not be seduced by vivid imaginings, wishful thinking, or spiritual claptrap. Use your imagination to create what is for your highest good and well being follows. If you fall into depression, remember that hope shines into the darkest places. Release self defeating programs, listen to your inner guidance, but be objective. Accept what's on offer. Watch out for idle gossip. Tie up loose ends before moving on. Remain emotionally detached. Avoid procrastination. Success may come in a court case. Stay positive and remember your family. There is no reason to lose the hope in your heart since well-being is a state of mind. The frequency of the stone is high. It's great for the throat, the third eye. <clears throat> great for Aries, Gemini, Scorpios, and Pisceans. And for seeing beyond consensual reality or illusion. Oh my Capricorns. You guys, will, you guys will be fine. You guys will get realigned here. They'll get realigned. Some of you will be definitely doing some sexual healing as well, okay? Oh, perfect. Graphics, graphic Smoky Quartz, the stabilizer. Graphic Smoky Quartz supports all the structures in the body, removing toxic debris and traumatic memories. It, kelp, it kelps. It keeps you grounded and balanced in physical incarnation while exploring other dimensions. Lack of trust in yourself and other people creates psychological barriers that lie at the heart of your disease. Your self-esteem is low, creating a deficient immune system. Memories of old traumas have subtly amended your ancestral DNA. At a deep level, you have been compressed and limited. Allow yourself to expand again. Undertake a shamanic journey into the unseen worlds in search of healing. There you will find the underlying causes of disease and outdated soul imperatives that are affecting your well-being. Offer yourself the gift of transformation. Healing is found in the darkest depths of yourself, not in external forces. The frequency of the stone is earthy and high. It's great for all the chakras and exploring taboos and treading where others fear to tread oh boy okay and last but not least <clears throat> rainbow mayanite the rainbow bridge rainbow mayanite bridges this world and the rest of creation it heals unconditionally and assists the shift to a new level of consciousness you are a leader when you raise your vibrations the whole benefits de-energize old patterns i just heard where do leaders go that's interesting where do leaders go Who do, lead, who do leaders follow? Interesting. Who do leaders follow? That just came out. Um, when you raise your vibrations, the whole benefits. De-energize old patterns. Release karmic incrustations and toxic droves from your etheric body. This crystal will assist in this. Go within to find your rainbow treasure house. Raise your consciousness to build new supportive structures at every level. Recognize how your soul is maneuvering you onto your true pathway. Apparently, detrimental situations offer soul gifts. Re-examine projects and let go of those that are not for your highest good or that of others. You see things from both sides. Always speak true, no matter what the cost, but be tactful. You have natural healing ability. Focus it wisely. Letting go attunes you to a realm of infinite possibilities. The frequency of the stone is extremely high. Great for the soul star and stellar gateway and recalibrates all to optimum functioning. It's great for aquas and being a rainbow bridge between worlds here. Oh, oh my cappies. Okay. Why do I feel like you guys are going to be taking the lead on a family issue? Um, some of you will be taking a lead on a family issue. Learning how to be more of a leader as well. Learning how to be more of a leader. Okay. 
And to do that, you're going to have to be aligned and you're going to have to be very sure of yourself and very confident of yourself. And you're going to be very creative in how you do it. Okay. <clears throat> all right, Capricorns, let's get into this. I know all of a sudden the mood got very serious, Capricorn. All of a sudden, the mood, uh, all of a sudden, sudden the mood got very serious. Ah, uh, okay. Why do my Capricorns use these stones for the month of November? Why do my Capricorns use these stones for the month of November? Why do my Capricorns need these stones for the month of November? Why do my Capricorns need these stones for the month of November? Why do my Capricorns need these stones for the month of November? One more. Why do my Capricorns need these stones for the month of November? Why do my Capricorns need these stones for the month of November? Wow, Nine of Pentacles, nice Capricorn. This is Virgo energy. It's also my pre-Empress card here. Yeah, this is definitely a very independent energy and someone who can be a leader, almost leader. Oh, interesting, I just heard almost leader, almost leader. This is someone, 1111, when I looked down at the phone, by the way. Um, this is someone who is a leader of themselves, a leader of their own life. This is someone who's built up their shit before they become a leader for other people, okay? Um, that's what I'm getting with this. This is someone who's almost a leader for others, but has been a leader for themselves for quite some time here. And someone who spent a lot of time finding their own balance and finding their own grounding in life. Capricorn, a lot of you are striving to get to this status, okay? Oh, God, sorry, guys. Oh, oh no, my allergies might be back. Um, a lot of you could be striving uh, to get to this point in your life. A lot of you are already here and you're trying to get to the next step. This is about getting to the next step for you, Capricorns, getting to the next step. And I feel like a lot of you are coming out of a, dark, a lot of dark energy to get there. You're coming out of a lot of dark energy to get there to whatever your next step is. It's almost like you hit a peak and then you plateau and you hit a peak and then you plateau and then a peak and then a plateau. It's that kind of energy. And you're about to peak again. You're about to peak again. But there's a need to almost find more confidence, more fuel, more stamina to get there and some of you have just went through some transformative shit as well that's going to help you on that path a lot of creative energy is going to be coming in here capricorn you're going to need that you're going to need it which is also why you have to be aligned and very in tune with your lower chakras okay particularly your sacral a lot of you're also very single no shade you're also very single and you'll be coming into a possibly a new uh, love interest yeah, oh, Capricorns. For some of you, that person's gonna help elevate you to your next level. I like that. Oh, Capricorns. Okay, let's lighten it up. Let's lighten it up. <laughs> lighten up the mood a little bit. <clears throat> some of you, those very, very single people, you will be meeting someone new who's really gonna help elevate you. And a lot of you, this is romantic interest. King of Cups on the bottom. I just saw that. Okay, let's keep it going. Why else do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of November? Why else do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of November? Why else do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of November? Wow. Four of Wands in reverse, Aries energy. You don't even see this. That's interesting. You don't even see this. You don't see it. You don't see it. A lot of you, a lot of you, whatever your next level is that you're trying to get to or that you will be getting to, you're going to have to leave a foundation behind. But what you don't see is that there's one already there. That's really interesting. Sorry, my nose gets really itchy when I channel. You're leaving, you're leaving a foundation behind, Capricorn. You're going to have to, which is why you're going to have the confidence to let it go, whatever it is. But what you don't know is that there's already another one waiting for you. You just don't see it. You just don't see it, but it's already waiting for you. You have to have the confidence and alignment to see that, okay? Why else do my Capricorns need these crystals? For the month of November. Oh, ooh. Ooh, we got an emperor. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. You don't even see that there is another foundation right here. For some of you, this is about a business, about bo a boss or bossing up yourselves. Like I said, for some of you, it's like you're reaching the next peak. Some of you are going to be going from, yeah, I got my own coins. I made my own coins. But now I'm a boss and I manage other people. I lead other people. An emperor leads other people. A nine of pentacles leads themselves. 
Big difference there. Big difference there. You can get to the status here, Capricorn. For some of you, this is the person you're meeting that's going to be part of your new foundation that you don't see yet. That you don't see yet. Some of you are distracted. I'm hearing woes. Interesting. Some of you are distracted by your woes. Uh, a lot of like everyday concerns because you can't see what's ahead. And we don't always have to see what's ahead. But we have to trust that there is something there, right? We have to trust that the universe is catching us, that the universe is guiding us in the right direction for a reason. Some of you are, not, are starting to not trust that. Some of you are starting to have a lot of mistrust that this is already here waiting for you. But it's there. It's there. Why else do my Capricorns need these crystals? Oh, yeah. See, Devil in Reverse, Capricorn Energy. So this is your major arcana card. This tells me that you aren't you aren't aligned right now. And we were already kind of picking that up, right? Especially with Shiva Lingam. This is to be balanced in your masculine and feminine energies, right? Also relating to uh, Kundalini energy, sexual energy. Sometimes that is associated with the Devil card. But in Reverse, I just feel like you guys are not very aligned. And because of that, your confidence is not quite where it should be in order to understand what's ahead of you, Okay. In order to understand what's ahead of you. I'm also getting it for some of you, this person that you, some of you are meeting a person, not all of you are. Some of you are meeting an emperor here, okay? There is a lot of sexual attraction. There's a lot of sexual attraction. But there's something amiss. What's this thing that's amiss? There's something you're not seeing about this connection, though. The one where there's a lot of sexual attraction, but there's something you're not seeing. What are you not seeing? You're almost afraid to trust it. I think that's what it is, Capricorn. I think you're afraid to trust it. If this is a romantic interest that you're meeting and there's a lot of sexual attraction, there's something about this person you don't trust. There could also be an age difference, not necessarily, with Nine of Pentacles and the Emperor. Could be. They could also have, um, like, gray hair. Gray hair. The gray hair is really standing out to me on this Emperor for some reason. Um, but there's something you're not seeing about this sexual attraction, this chemistry, the connection here. I think it just scares you, Capricorn. If I'm being really honest, I think it just scares you. Why else do my Capricorns need these stones for the month of November? Why else do my Capricorns need these stones for the month of November? All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Now we have Death in Reverse, Scorpionic Energy with the Four of Swords, Libra Energy. And then we've got the Six of Cups, Scorpionic Energy. Um, <clears throat> I feel like this is you recovering from your past. Yeah, whatever you're not trusting about what's ahead or the person that's ahead of you or the person you're meeting or the next peak that you're you're hitting, whatever it is, you have to reconcile some of your stuff from the past here. This is an energy of recovery, of rebirth. Six of Cups is your past, your memories. It's also soulmate energy here. For some of you, this is purely romantic. You have to reconcile some of your stuff about your past relationships and your past heartaches, okay? For those where this is someone who's going to help elevate you in business or career, you've got some hangups. You've got some hangups or you've got some... Um, Character development, interesting. Some character development that you have to go through to get to more of a leader status or leader position to be able to handle that. For some of you, this is just purely about a promotion at work and you want it. A party is afraid of it though. A party is afraid of it because you do have to go through this character development to be ready for it, okay? But for those where this is romantic, you just got to reconcile some of your shit from the past because this seems like a really awesome connection here and this is someone who's going to help you learn a lot about yourself. And it looks really yummy. It looks really yummy, but you're not trusting it. Start reconciling. Start reconciling this stuff. Overall energy, two of cups. Cancerian energy, also soulmate energy for me as a reader. Like I said, for those where this is romantic, definite soulmate energy. You could have a past life with this person. You could definitely have a past life with this person. Um, some of you, this is a Lazarus. Some of you, this is definitely a Lazarus. I'm not going to lie. Which is also why you're having issues with it. I understand. Understandable. Totally understandable. If it's someone from your past coming back, get the closure you need, get the healing you need done, and be done with it. Uh, but like I said, they are a soulmate regardless of who this person is in your life, business, new love, old love. They are a soulmate. It's also helping you. This person will help you align as well as what they're telling me. Um, if you learn to trust this person, romantically speaking, even in business, the more you learn to trust again, oh, again, again, cabbies, again, the more aligned you're going to be, okay? All right. That was you, Cappy. So we have Taurus and Virgo. Taurus, Virgo. Taurus, Virgo. Taurus, Virgo. Taurus, you're winning. <laughs> All right, Taurus. Let me just get a sip of water first, okay? Mm. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. I'm going to need another long break after this. Or I might just stop today. We'll see. We'll see. 
Taurus, 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 Taurus. What crystals do my Taurians need for the month of November? What crystals do my Taurians need for the month of November? What crystals do my Taurians need for the month of November? What crystals do my Taurians need? Ooh, appetite. Oh, so pretty. All right, so appetite's your first one. We have appetite hasn't been out in a long time, Taurus, a long time. I am hearing money, 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 money. Taurus, you're always thinking about money. <laughs> in a practical way, I mean, you know, let's be real. You know, money doesn't make the world go round necessarily, but you know, pays the bills, right? Money is something we do have to think about. Ooh, Moldavai. So you're going through a bit of a transformation too here, Taurus. Definitely a bit of a transfer. Hmm. Some of you, it's a transmutation versus a trans transformation. Transmutation is, is an alchemical change. Well, transformation, you know, it could just be an emotional change. It could just be healing. Transmutation is an alchemical change, okay? Uh. What other crystals do my Taurians need for the month of November? What other crystals do my Taurians need for the month of November? Oh, that's it. You only got two, Taurus. Okay. So let's go ahead and get these started. If I could speak. Appetite. Appetite works at the interface between consciousness and matter to let go of what is out outworn in your life. Clear away confusion or guilt. Accept the truth about yourself. You are a complex being with credits and deficits. Recognize these without judgment. Move away from aloofness or social alienation and show others who you truly are. Use your per... Mm. Oh, that's a tricky word. Hold on. I'm going to try. Hold on. Persip. This is a funky word. Use your persip... Wait, pers... Perspit... Per I can't say this word. I can't say this word. Oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. Uh, okay. Perspicacity? Perspicacity. User perspicacity. That's got to be a funky ass word. That's literally what it says. Here, I'm going to hold it up so you guys can see it. Is it going to focus? I don't know. I don't know if it's going to focus. Use your perspicacity. I can't say that word. Anyway, moving on. You have, much, you have much to offer by way of service as you access insights to for the collective good. Be inspired. Discern truth within. Recognize what is real in your world and restructure your reality. Don't be deceived by false friends. See what is beneath. Develop your metaphysical perception. Things improve steadily. Understand that circumstances are merely learning opportunities. It is time to be of service to others. Teach what you know. Your intuition knows what's best for you. The frequency of the sun is high. Great for the third eye and the root and for Gemini's and discerning the truth within. Ooh, Taurus. Are you guys having some trouble accepting some truths about yourselves? That might be why you're going through a little bit of this, this transformation, some of you with transmutation here, okay? There's something that you're learning about yourself that you're, you're really needing to integrate. Integrate and accept. You know, a lot of healing is about acceptance. Yeah, you got to feel to heal. You all know I say that. It's also part of my merch if you guys want to check out the merch. Um, but more than that, it's acceptance. Acceptance is big. You can't heal or change at all if you can't accept anything about yourself. Mm, I know, Taurus. I know. All right, Moldavite. Moldavite was created when a giant meteorite slammed into Earth some 11 million years ago, fusing the power of the cosmos with that of Mother Earth. You are a child of the stars and find the environment of Earth heavy and inert. Moldavite raises your vibrations with inflooding cosmic light so that you feel more at home. You are on a search for the inner grail, awareness of your divine origins. Release ingrained beliefs to make way for spiritual metamorphosis. Detach yourself from mundane issues. You are going through a spiritual transformation, so dramatic changes occur as you reach beyond your limits. Talk to your soul to check the outcome of present actions. Transcend time. Avoid sowing seeds of destruction. Fertility and good fortune await. You are far more than a physical body. Harmony at all levels creates your well-being. The frequency of the stone is earthy and high. It's great for all the, sh all the upper chakras. Oh, excuse me. And for integration of the physical and the spiritual. Ooh, Taurus. So those are pretty nice uh, stones you guys got going there for you. So let's go ahead and pull some cards and see why you need these stones. <sighs> I feel like it's being prompted by a conversation. 
or someone saying something to you. Someone either said something to you or there's a conversation here where it's, you know, you're learning a lot about yourself, Taurus, but because you're learning a lot about yourself, it's also helping you change. It's also helping you change and maybe get out of some old habits as well. Okay, well, let's see why you need these crystals. Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of November? Okay. Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of November? Oh, you busy. <laughs> Taurus, you busy. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. I do feel money here, though. I can't help but feel money with you right now, Taurus. Uh, some of you could be deciding, you know, is about work-life balance. Some of you guys could be deciding about work-life balance, or maybe I put too much emphasis on money, or maybe I don't put enough emphasis on money. It's like money is being called into question in some way, shape, or form right now for you, Taurus, and regarding a change you're trying to make or a change you're trying to implement within your life or within yourself here. But I do feel you're very busy and you're really juggling between being one way and being another. Oh yeah, being one way and being another. I'm something about big and small, big and small, big and small, big and small. That's, that's going to resonate for some of you. Big and small. I don't know what that's about. Big and small, big and small. <laughs> There's one who keeps saying that big and small, big and small. Why do my historians need these crystals for the month of November? Any other messages for why? Oh, queen of cups in reverse. Can't stare in energy. Oh, can also be Pisces or Scorpio. I feel like this is actually someone you're dealing with, Taurus. I don't think this is you. I think this is someone you're dealing with. I feel like whoever this is, Taurus, they 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 really kind of make you feel ungrounded. They make you feel they make it hard for you to find balance in your life. They make it hard for you to juggle. They make it hard for you to handle the everyday, whoever this is. It sounds like a very codependent energy, a very needy energy. I, for some of you, it's a relative. Some of you, it's a relative. Others, it's a romantic interest. Male or female, doesn't matter. But they are coming across as a queen of cups in reverse. Some of them are emotionally manipulative as well, like to guilt trip. Oh, there it is. Some of them, whoever this is, likes to guilt trip. You're trying to figure out how to handle them. <laughs> You're trying to figure out how to handle them. Um, the more you interact with this person, the more you start questioning yourself. Oh, Taurus. The more you start questioning yourself and how you handle things. For some of you, this is someone that relies on you financially, not for all of you. Some of you, there's a financial tie between you and this person. But this is someone who's very codependent, very needy. It's almost like you feel responsible for them. Oh, wow, Taurus. Yeah, for some of you, you feel responsible for this person. Keep in mind, it can be vice versa. You feel responsible for them, but you don't want to be. You don't think you should be either. You don't think you should be, but you feel obligated you feel obligated. You don't want to feel obligated. What do I do about this person? What do I do about this person? How did I get involved with this person? And like, then you start going in within yourself. Like, well, did I handle them right so far? Have I been living my truth? Have I been doing right by me? Or have I really just been people pleasing? Who Taurus. But this person's very demanding. I can feel it. They're very demanding. And sometimes they emotionally manipulate you to tr guilt trip you. Guilt tripping is coming in really strong. Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of November? Let's see. Ooh, star in reverse, a clear and energy. E, there's a major need to heal this situation. I think you recognize this person needs healing. I think you recognize that, Taurus. I think you recognize this person needs healing and you need to maintain balance in your life and they throw off the balance. Mm, they throw off the balance. So you're trying to figure out how to handle this person. 
for your highest good. That's a tough one, Taurus. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. And I think you tried handling this person in the past, but it didn't go right. It didn't go well. It wasn't the best way of going about things. So you are changing, Taurus. It's interesting. This. Don't worry about that. It's like, oh shit, what was that? Um, you've tried handling this person before because they throw balance, they throw your life off balance. They add a lot of stress to your life unnecessarily. So because they're needy or clingy or have all these demands or what have you, some of you, the, some of you, it is financial. Some of you, it's financial demands. Others, they affect your money because they throw you off balance here. Okay, and you just you want to handle them properly. So you are changing your ways of how you handle them, and in turn, that's changing who you are. Okay. Or changing you and how you go about things. Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of November? Oh, shit, Taurus. That's it. Overall energy. Yeah, see, there you go. Nine of Swords. Gemini energy. You're you're really worried about this. You're really worried about the situation. You're not really sleeping well. If you do sleep, you're having crazy-ass dreams. I'm hearing anxiety and Heart palpitations? Anxiety and heart palpitations. Oh, this person's really stressing you out, Taurus. You can't, no. No, 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 no. You you can't, you, you can't keep trying to maintain this, per oh, interesting, maintain this person. Some of you, this person, um, how do I say this? How do I say this the right way? Taurus, for some of you, this person might struggle with mental illness a little bit. If they do, it's not, it's not extreme and no shade to people with mental illness. We've all got something, you know, we've all got something. Um, we've all been there at some point, but you you recognize this person needs to heal and you can't maintain them. You can't really give them what they need without giving too much of yourself or throwing yourself off balance. And it's really stressing you out. It's really stressing you out underneath that. Wow. Yeah. See? Yeah. We have the High Priestess in reverse, Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader with the Nine of Wands, Sag energy. It's exhausting you. This is exhausting you. You have two nines of high priestess right, right there. Very synchronistic. This is exhausting you. It's become too much. It's too much of a burden to bear. And it's not your burden to bear. It's not. It's not your burden to bear. Okay? Oh, boy. All right, Taurus. So there's that. <laughs> Virgos. Let's see if you have a lighter one. Let's see if you have a lighter one from Capricorn and Taurus here. Okay? Not taking that because we just got started. What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of November? What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of November? Oh, did you just hear me, Louise? Uh, what crystals do my Virgos need for the month of November? Oh, interesting. You guys got citrine. And I saw that one for Capricorns. Citrine is definitely um, a stone used for abundance. It's used for cre uh, creative energies, for the solar, for the sacral. It's really great in um, when we're dealing with career or, you know, writer's block or creative stagnancy um, or sexual stagnancy as well. It's great for that. Anything relating to the sacral, it's really sac sacral and solar. It's really great for. It's also great for boosting confidence here, Virgo. I feel like you guys are getting to work on expanding something. Actually, it's so funny. I have my citrine right here. If you guys want to see what it looks like, not in a card. Um, I feel like you're about to expand on something, Virgo. Holy shit. Holy shit. Tiger's eye. Very, very similar energy to the citrine here, okay? Tiger's eye is more of that go-getting energy, though. More of that leadership quality of being very proactive, getting something done, getting something started. And now we have... ooh. Lavender Argonite. Someone else had this, and I think it was an air sign. Was it Gemini? Might have been Gemini or Libra had this one. Um, Lavender Argonite. Yeah, you guys are definitely on the precipice of starting something big. It feels career related, or at least at the very, um, at the very least, creative based. What other stones do my Virgos need for the month of November? What other crystals do my Virgos need for the month of November? Oh, that's it. All right, guys, let's get started. Let's read off Citrine here for you guys. <clears throat> Citrine, a stone of joy and abundance. Citrine helps you to interact creatively with the world. It promotes inner calm. You spend too much time worrying about home, family, and finances. Remember, you are an abundant being who manifests what you need. You are an innocent, wise child who yearns to play. Joyful play creates a wonderful world. Be grateful for you are blessed. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Accept constructive criticism, become emotionally balanced, letting feelings flow naturally. Take time out for a joyful play. Self-regard heals a damaged child. Abundance is all around you. You attract success and prosperity. Stop worrying, be optimistic, and allow life to happen. Trust your intuition and perception. Consult the wise child within. Your thoughts on the bigger picture are correct. If there is family discord, harmony is restored through praise. True abundance comes from within. If you nurture your desires, you will bring joy to your wise child self. The frequency of the stone is high, and it's great for all the chakras and for Aries, Geminis, Leos, and Libras, and embodying abundance. Embodying abundance. Yep, yeah, Virgo, I just heard it's time to put you first. It's time to put you first. Okay. All right. Ooh. There we go. Tiger's eye. Tiger's eye symbolizes prosperity and encourages right use of power. It balances your needs with those of others finding solutions. A child of the sun and earth with untold powers, you make your own fate. Assert yourself wisely. Bring hidden talents to the fore and accept your imperfections. There is a tendency toward obsessiveness or becoming spaced out. Ground yourself. Explore your past lives to discover cause of these traits. Deal sensibly with day-to-day -day reality and face challenges boldly. Unlock your creativity. Find... Oh, excuse me. Find your prosperity and lasting success. Long journeys and celebrations lie ahead. Your personal power, confidence, and energy are high. Use them wisely. Commit to goals. Distinguish between wishful thinking and what you really need. Assist friends to gain their heart's desire. Past life Past lives throw light on current situations. Doing what gives you joy increases your well-being. The frequency of the stone's earthy to high depending on the color. It's great for the solar plexus and third eye, for Leos and Cappies, and becoming empowered. Yeah, Virgos, you're, I really feel strongly you're about to create something or something big is about to happen creative-based, okay? Or sacral-based. Lavender Argonite. Lavender Argonite heals your personal environment and Earth's meridian grid and raises the vibrations of the planet. Become comfortable in your own body and environment. You incarnated to be a guardian for the planet. You are a vehicle for purifying and healing the Earth, reminding others that that is a sacred living being to treat to to be treated with respect. Some of you guys are going to start a nonprofit. I can feel that. I feel the energy right now. Some of you guys are trying to start a nonprofit, or you're thinking about it, or you want to volunteer more. A lot of humanitarian energy just hit me. Um, Pay attention to where you live within yourself. Do your own inner housekeeping and nurture yourself. Become a vehicle for the healing of the environment by opening yourself to higher vibrational energies. Do not participate in anything that despoils the planet or diminishes its resources. Oh, hold on. Ooh. Sorry, guys. Ah. Work with your power animal and nourish your inner being. Take no risks and avoid excesses. If your environment is unhealthy and disharmonious, it cannot support well-being. Transform it and well-being returns. The frequency of the stone is high and is great for aligning the earth star, the root, the third eye, soul star, and stellar gateway. Great for Taurians, Virgos, and Cappies, and Aquas, and for healing the environments. Oh my, Virgos. Okay. Oh, let me keep these out. I don't know why I put those away so quickly. Let's go ahead and see why you need these crystals. But I definitely got a lot of humanitarian energy that came in there. But it's like, it's proactive. It feels very leader-like, very alpha and getting something started here, okay? Why don't I Virgos need these crystals for the month of November? Why don't I Virgos need these crystals for the month of November? Virgos need these crystals for the month of November. Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of November? Ah! The sun, Virgo! Leo energy! You could be a cusper. Because you're heading towards the sun. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. It's freedom, it's blessings, it's abundance, it's joy. All the things that the crystals were alluding to. Virgos, you're headed, you are heading into something new. It's also new beginnings or second chances, and it feels big. It feels really big. Oh my god, king of wands. More Leo energy could also be um, fire or air. I feel like this is you taking the lead, taking the initiative. Whether you're a man or woman doesn't matter. We read energy, we don't read gender here. The king of wands, wands doesn't fuck around, especially when they have the sun on their mind especially when they have the sun in their sights, on their mind, they have that wand, they know where they're going, they're very sure of themselves, they're very confident, and they don't let anyone stop them either. They don't let anyone stop them either. 
this I did just her joining forces. This could be for some of you. This could be someone you're going to business with or starting a whole new relationship with or going on a journey with. Oh my God, Virgo, nine of cups by sea and energy. You guys, I think I've had the most positive reading so far for uh, the crystal November readings here. But nine of cups, wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment and happiness. Happiness within the self. Let me put it that way. Happiness within the self. Even if you're joining forces with someone, not all of you are. I can want to make that very clear. Not all of you are. But all of you Virgos who are resonating with this, you are the king of wands here, regardless of gender, and you will have happiness within the self, and you are going towards even more happiness and abundance and joy. I just heard you're going to be very comfortable, Virgos. You're going to be very, very comfortable. Interesting. You're also going to be very proud of yourself once you get there. Once you get there, you have to get there, though. Why are they saying it like that? Ah! <laughs> this is for some of you. Virgos, get your butt up because it's time to go. Because once you get there, you're going to be very proud of yourself. But you have to get your butt up and go. That's interesting. That's for some of you. It was, it was a little bit of a talking to, not for me. That was from Spirit. Why else do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of November? Oh, my God. Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Okay. Okay. Can we, can we? Should we just stop? Should we just stop? Virgos, should we just stop? Look at this shit. Look at this. Blessings, blessings, happiness, happiness, joy, abundance, abundance. Oh my God. Virgo, where are you going? <laughs> Virgo, wherever you're going, you're going to be so happy, so proud of yourself and so comfortable, but they keep telling me you have to get your butt up and go and get it, get it. Okay. They keep telling me that you have to get your butt up and go and get it. If you've been wondering what you're going to get, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Both of these cards are blessings. All three of these cards are, are abundance in some way, shape, or form. Some kind of beyond say, satiation, okay? Freedom on top of that. Joy on top of that. Some of you are moving homes. Some of you are moving homes. Some of you are going to have a lot of happiness within the home and with your family. Um, if there is anyone who's pregnant or about to give birth, um, that's adding a lot more joy and light into the household as well as what they're telling me. For some, there's a little bit of family addition that I am sensing, okay? So you might be moving in with someone or having someone move in with you or moving to someone's home. I just heard hometown. Interesting. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Why else do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of November? I want to be a Virgo for November. That's for damn sure. <laughs> That's it. Overall energy. Oh, my God. Judgment. Fire energy. Also, scorpionic energy for me as a reader. I feel like this is spirit yelling at you to get up. Like, literally... Rise out from the coffin, get your butt up and go. Underneath that, we do have strength, Leo energy. Have the confidence to get up and go and do this. A lot of Leo energy here. This is ridiculous. You got three heavy duty Leo cards. These are the heaviest Leo cards in the deck, okay? I consider court cards to have heavier weight, energetically speaking, with signs than just the typical minor arcana. And you have both of the majors for Leo here, okay? You're going to amazingness. Let's just call it amazingness. But you have to get up and go. Some of you are lacking that confidence and patience with yourself. Just get up and go. They keep saying that. Just get up and go and do it. You already know what you have to do, Virgo. You already know what you have to do, so get up and go. Some of you are definitely joining forces with someone in a home environment. Uh, some of you are going to be meeting someone that is potential lifelong partner as well. They really want me to reiterate that. Some of you are meeting someone who has a very much potential of a lifelong partnership here and to trust it and not be afraid of it and don't control the situation. Let it happen naturally. It's bringing a lot of happiness and love into your life. Wow. I'm just going to hold this up a little longer and just stop talking just so you guys can like suck in that energy. Just soak in it, Virgo. Just soak in it. Bask in it. Claim it. Even if you're not sure it's yours, just claim it anyway because it's so goddamn positive. Just claim it. Claim it. Okay? Oh, Earth Signs. I hope that you guys found this insightful and helpful. Don't forget to go on Patreon and Vimeo and check that stuff out. And I will see you guys later, okay? Have a great November, Virgos and Cappies and Tauruses. But I'm going to be a Virgo this month. That's for damn sure. Okay? All right, guys. I'll see you later. Namaste.